Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we'll be having a husband and wife challenge using these capsules right here. I'm pretty sure we'll get duplicates so I thought it was a great opportunity to mix match and go ahead and have a little challenge. We thought it would be a good idea to each unbox some capsules and whatever comes out we'll use it to make our own creations and see who comes up with the best one. So let's go ahead and open up this capsule. This is going to be the Cafe Series 3. I'm so excited to see the second wave. Hopefully they come out soon. I did ask for the day off tomorrow, so I may just go to a Target run and see if we see anything new. Ooh, I love this mat. It's like a gold tone, a little bit matte. It's really cute though. But I do believe we have a new item. I do not recall seeing this map before. Ooh, this is new. We have, this is a smoothie. I think we have the empty version of this that came with the display case. Here is the granola, 100% happy, sun baked sweets. And then back here, let's see. It just tells us that it's good stuff. Looks good, looks good. What else do we have? We have a bowl. This bowl has a different design and it's a little bit smaller I feel than the rest. In our utensils bag, this time around we're going to have our tongs, a spoon, and the little handle for the display case or the display capsule. Here is the fruit. It comes with pineapple and blueberries. How cute is this packaging? Although I do have to say our son is missing a little boot. <laughs> Here is the recipe. So it's the dragon fruit bowl. It has the granola, it has a smoothie, the fruit and the spoon. So according to this, we just dump everything in and cure it. So let's go ahead and see how we're able to recreate this what a beautiful vibrant pink that is gorgeous i've never had dragon fruit before i'm not too sure what it tastes like but sounds delicious and the color is definitely nice and vibrant uh oh i just realized i'm going to start building this and we were supposed to do a challenge. <laughs> well, I think we'll use the next capsule because this is a new item to our collection. And I would hate missing out on not getting this one again and not being able to add it to our collection. So let me go ahead and just add a little bit at a time and cure it in sections. That way we make sure that everything is nice and cure because some of my old, old cereal bowls, I didn't know back then, right, what I know now. And they have little holes in them. I think it's from where it wasn't cured properly. And they're sticky. So we want to make sure we get a nice cure. And we do this in layers just to prevent that from happening again. So this is the second time around. And I went ahead and added a third layer. But I have not cured this one yet. I'm going to add in the granola. I say we do about half of the bowl of granola. I think that's going to look the best. And the rest we need to store away. So now that it's nicely stored, let's go ahead and start putting our fruit. I'm going to add the pineapple and the blueberries in the other half and divide that in half. So a fourth of pineapple and a fourth of blueberries. This little bowl reminds me of my breakfast in the mornings. I went ahead and moved my fruit intake to be in the morning. So in the morning I eat two fruits with about... 20 to 30 grams of protein so i try and have either eggs greek yogurt peanut butter but that was just a fun fact <laughs> i think our bowl came out really really cute and it's time to box another capsule since we did not have this one in the collection i'll go ahead and open another one because we definitely want to make a challenge so let's see what we get this time i think from the whole cafe series 3 for a challenge I think the cookies would be very helpful. The chicken noodle soup or maybe the pickles. We could make something cool out of them. But let's see what we have. So we have our little utensil bag. We have this pink bag. Let's see what's in here. We have a plate. 
And then in our resin bag, we have... <gasps> no, don't tell me we have a new one. This is crazy. The day I want duplicates, I'm getting new items. Here is the mat, just like home. Let's see what we have in this yellow bag. We have... <gasps> I have been wanting this one for the longest time and we have yet, well, now we have it. <laughs> I know what it is, but I'm not going to say it yet until I show you this bag. We have the baked potatoes. I have seen so many people build these and I have been eyeing them and wanting them for so long. I can't believe that out of all the days that we've unboxed them, we get them the day we want to do a challenge. Here is the baked potatoes. Don't they look delicious? Let me take a look just quickly at the recipe. So mix it up, add cream, add chives, cure. We got this. What should I start with? Ah, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I think we're gonna start off opening the sour cream. Look at the little cow. How cute is this container? This container reminds me not of a sour cream container, but of the Philadelphia spread containers that come in different flavors. I think they come in like a blueberry flavor, strawberry, and there's one that has honey. That's what this container reminds me of. I am very thrilled to finally be able to unbox these and it's a little bit ironic because just today my mom was telling me that she got my grandma a baked potato the other day and that she really enjoyed it. So these are just really cute and they have, like always, <laughs> something meaningful to them which make them just a little bit more special, right? I think all of us have that special dish or foods that remind us of our loved ones. I think we just remember things they enjoy and because they enjoy them, we like them. So let me go ahead and it says to mix this with the sour cream, but this is really hard. I don't know if it's because... They're a little old, <laughs> a little stale, but I was able to scoop some of the middle out. So now I'm going to go ahead and mix it with the sour cream. So let me go ahead and start mixing this way. Typically when I get a baked potato in real life or in person, I like to always mix it up a little bit with butter. But right now we have sour cream. So let's go ahead and add some more resin and keep mixing away. I'm not too sure I read the recipe right because looking at the picture, it seems that they used the sour cream only to add it as a topping, not necessarily to mix it with the potato filling. So bummer there, but the positive note of this is that now we have a bunch of filling. So I think I'm just going to grab that filling and add it into the potato skin. I'm going to try and cure it in layers to make sure it's nice and cured. I'm not too sure if this is going to work, but learn from my mistake. <laughs> now you know what not to do, right? For the other one, I'm going to leave the inside part of the, I want to say it's like a kinetic sand, simply because I'm concerned that the other one is not going to cure because the sunlight or the UV light is not going to hit those parts. This is what they look like. Let me show you the other one. This is the one that I only added it to the middle. I think they turned out okay. I'm going to grab some of the sour cream that I should have grabbed in the beginning and add it as the topping on top. I feel so silly, <laughs> but hey, mistakes happen, right? Hopefully I get another baked potato duplicate capsule that way we could recreate it the right way but i'm going to just grab some more of that sour cream i really like how white this particular resin is let me just go ahead and try and spread it out a little tiny bit just like this i think i need some more on this other potato it quite does not have enough for my taste. So let me just grab a little bit more and just spread it out a little bit more. I think that should be good. Now we need to take our chives and we're going to sprinkle them on top. These are so cute. I think I got these last time, but I think it was, where was it? Oh, in the new series three wave two capsules. 
So these are the ones that we already have, all of the ones that have a little smiley face on them. Pretty much we're missing the bagel with fox. We're also missing, what else are we missing? That's it because we got the baked potatoes today and we also got the dragon fruit bowl. So this is what these look like, but I did not like the little wrapper that they came with. So I'm going to grab some aluminum from my home and I'm going to try and add it to the potato. I just think it gives it a little bit of the final look, the finishing touch. So let me just go ahead and fold this one a little bit and we're going to add the baked potato to it. And this is what they look like. What do you think? Do you like these? At first I was a little bit worried because I did the recipe wrong, but I think they turned out really good. Let me give you this closer look and you let me know what you think. They look so creamy and shiny, don't they? <laughs> Positive note, but it's your choice. I don't recommend you combining these two and then just add your chives. Let's go ahead and open up another capsule since we got new items for the past two. So let's see what we get for this one. How cool would it be if we get the bagel with logs? If we do, that would mean that we completed the whole cafe series three. Well, wave one, because now we know there's going to be a wave two. And would you look at this? This is exactly like the mat that is up there in our kitchen. So I have a feeling we have more baked potatoes. <laughs> if we do, that's a good sign. Yes, yeah, so we definitely have the baked potatoes that we just unboxed. But this is good because now we get to open up another capsule, mix them, and make our own creation. This little plate had a little stain, but that's okay. Here is the baked potatoes. I already have some ideas in mind. It will just depend what comes out on our second capsule on what we make. I'm going to keep all of the chives that I get because these could be used in a ton of recipes. Let me go ahead and open up the Series 2 capsule. This is from the Diner Series. And let's see what we will be making today. What could we make? I was thinking of some maybe potato skins. It just depends on what we get here in what we make as like our main dish. Maybe we could have an appetizer of potato skins. Maybe, possibly. Let's go ahead and open up our first little bag. Which one should we start off with? I think we're just going to start off with the pink one. This is such a gorgeous pink color. We have some tarts. So we have a duplicate. We already have the tarts. So let's think of what we're going to make. That does change things up a little bit. Maybe we can make like a shepherd's tart instead of pie. Wouldn't that be so cool? We do have some ground beef left over from the tacos. But you know what? These are lemon. Do we not have this one? Hmm. Let me open up this bag. I'm just curious on what else we're getting. Meringue. Yeah, this is a new one. We do not have this one. That's crazy. This is so cool. Meringue. Yeah, I do not remember having this one. That is so cool. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do, you guys? Do we stick with the recipe since we do not have it? These are the lemon tartlets. I was thinking of these, the fruit tartlets, but these we do not have. So I think we're going to follow the recipe. Don't hate me. I would just hate to not get these again and not be able to complete that collection. So let's go ahead and build it, cure it, and we'll take it from there. How about that? <laughs> The color of these tartlets is a little bit different than the other ones as well. Let me go ahead and flip them over and I'm going to go ahead and put some tacky underneath just so that they don't move that much. So let me do that real quick and open up our resin. I did go ahead and heat this resin a little bit so or warm it up so that it's easier for us to pour and it definitely worked. Look at how nicely it's pouring out. You could heat it maybe by putting it underneath your legs. I know some comments say that you add them in your bra. No judgment there. Anything that works for you, that's perfectly fine. 
or you could put them in warm water before you open up the little resin container so before you open it put it in some warm water and then it should also help I do have a little bit of resin left over. I was thinking maybe we can make a little Twinkie. <laughs> I'll see if this works out and I'll show you if it does. Here is the little lemon. So let's go ahead and grab some of them and grab our little meringue. Oh, these are nice. What is this technique called? Is it flambéed? No, right? That sounds really wrong. But they do seem to have been cooked a little bit if that makes any sense or baked <laughs> but we're just going to add the little meringues and I already cured our little Twinkies let's see what they look like I think they came out really good I'm curious if we're able to make a little back for them we'll try that later this is all of our recipes here is the lemon tartlets we have two, let's move it a little bit, three, let me put this one on top to match the others, and these have a little slice of lemon, our fourth, fifth, and the last one. Here are the six lemon tarlets. I'm going to add the little Twinkies there too, <laughs> since the color does match, right? We have two little tiny Twinkies. One of them did have a little bit of resin on the edges, but I just sanded it with my nail filer and it worked just fine. I am very sorry. I do not think we'll be able to do a challenge today, but we did get to build three brand new recipes to our Miniverse collection. Which one is your favorite? The baked potatoes, the lemon tartlets, or did you maybe like the dragon fruit bowl? Which one do you like the best? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you here next time and hopefully then we will have our husband and wife challenge. Thank you, bye!